What's good, everybody? Today, we're talking about complex fractions. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to simplify complex fractions when we have variables in the denominator. So I got four very helpful tips today. But the first thing we want to do is to rewrite our problem so that we can see it a lot better or easier, right? So we rewrote the problem. And the second thing that we want to now focus on is going to be the denominators, right? Can we factor anything? So I look at my denominator, I look at my numerator, there's nothing for us to simplify. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go back and find common denominators. So I'm gonna split this into kind of two problems. I'm gonna focus on this side first. So we have a common denominator of x times x plus one. So when we look at x minus 2, for it to have this same common denominator, we're going to multiply by x plus 1. All right? So once we do that, we FOIL. So x times x gives me x squared, and then we're going to continue distributing. So we'll have minus 2x plus x minus 2. All right? And then now what we're going to do, we're going to take x and multiply it by 2 so that we'll have the same common denominator. And once we do, we're going to have positive 2x at the end. Now we're going to clean this up, and what we get is x squared plus x minus 2, and this is all over x times x plus 1. Now, it's very important that at every step you check to see if we could factor. When we look right here, we could definitely factor that. So let's break it down. And once we break it down to our two binomials, we're going to get x plus 2, x minus 1. Okay? And once we do this now, guys, we're now going to put this over our denominator, and we're going to focus on the second half of the part of the problem. So on the second half of the problem, our common denominator is going to be x minus 1 times x plus 1. And when we look at this first fraction, we're going to multiply 3 times x plus 1. So once we do that, we'll get 3x plus 3. And then over here, we're going to multiply this 1 times x minus 1. But very important, guys, this is where you could get this problem wrong. So please make sure you guys are listening. Remember that there is a negative sign in front. So we have x times negative 1, which will give me negative x, and negative 1 times negative 1, which will give me positive 1. So now we're going to clean this up, and once we do, we'll have 2x plus 4 all over x minus 1 times x plus 1. So at, now we're at the most important part of the problem, the last step. So remember, when we're dividing, guys, and we're talking about fractions, right, keep change, right, so division turns into multiplication. And now we're going to flip, we're going to flip this fraction. So we have x minus 1 times x plus 1, okay? And this is going to be all over 2x plus 4. But what I'm going to do, let's simplify this. We're going to pull out a greatest common factor of 2. And then on the inside, we're going to get x plus 2. Okay, so that you guys know how I got that. So at this step right now, guys, what we want to do is cross cancel. So if we look, we could cancel out x plus 2 with x plus 2, and then we could cancel out x plus 1 with x plus 1. Now, what are we left with? I'm going to circle it. So we're left with x times 2 on the bottom, right, because we're going to have a fraction as the answer. So we have 2x on the bottom. And then on the top, 
we have x minus 1 times x minus 1. So you could either write it twice or the way you're going to see it on your test or a, a quiz is x minus 1 and then in parentheses squared. Right. So if we're talking about how to simplify a complex fraction, guys, with variables in the denominator, this is a way that you can do it without the lowest common denominator. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Smash the like button for us on your way out. Thank you guys so much for joining us today in our video.